Welcome back to Heralds and Trumpets. I'm Jason and I'm giving away all these horns. Okay, so first up, I am giving away this trumpet in this video. This is the No Name Trumpet. I am also giving away a Monet mouthpiece that we did in a previous mouthpiece review. Um, I'm not going to give this one away in this video, but this is the Martin Committee. If you want this trumpet, you need to go to the Martin Committee video and we need 1,000 comments. So all you have to do is go there, comment, comment on others, other people's comments. Every comment counts, even the ones I comment, as long as it's not a scammer. Once we reach a thousand, I'll give this puppy away, Martin Committee. But we are giving away this trumpet in this video. We're giving away a Monet mouthpiece, and we are also giving away the H3 mouthpiece. That's a Harrelson mouthpiece. We are giving away tons of t-shirts and hats, and we have 25 winners in this video. Plus, in a future video, we're gonna give away this trumpet it's an Adams A5. Remember, the only way you can win on one of my videos is if you first subscribe, second, you like the video, and third, you leave a comment telling me why you want to win and what you like about Harrelson Trumpets or the, or the videos we do. Unfortunately, we've had dozens of people we chose as winners who have not pushed subscribe. So I have to delete all those winners. Okay, so you're going to need to watch this entire video to find out if you're a winner. Um, I did that intentionally because I really want you to watch this video. This video is really important to me because a lot of it is about how the Spectratone from Harrelson can become any mouthpiece that you see. So like all the mouthpieces behind me could be recreated in the Spectratone series. I'm gonna show you how that mouthpiece um, for the, the price tier that is out right now is going to end very soon. So regardless of when you're watching this video, you wanna go in there right away because if you don't pledge early enough, you're gonna end up paying a lot more um, the regular price is $400. A whole bunch of you got in at the uh, 195 level, and some of you got in at 205. We have some 215s left, so $215 is still almost half price. So you guys want to get on there, and once you've seen this video, you'll probably conv be convinced you want to try this. So let's give away some stuff. Is this Monet mouthpiece. This is the Monet C4S3. I went through all the comments and I found the one that I thought made the most sense to award this prize and that's going to be to Celestio Rodriguez. Celestio, I checked out your YouTube uh, channel and your YouTube videos. It sounds like you're progressing very nicely on trumpet. You're obviously working really hard. This mouthpiece is now yours. Um, all you need to do is film a five or 10 second video on YouTube, mark it private and share the link with me. That video should show your name, address, and um, any other information we need to get this into your hands. All right, so we're shipping for free. I wanna let everyone know there are scammers out there that try to tell you through this Telegram link or something. I've never actually seen how this works, but they're trying to get you to pay for shipping and they claim to be us. We don't charge you for shipping. We also don't announce winners in comments. We only announce them in the video like you're watching right now. So Mr. Rodriguez, you get this mouthpiece, just email us uh, that video so that we can award your prize. All right, let's move on. The other thing I wanna say about prizes is you have seven days to respond and give us your name and address. If you do not do that, you forfeit your prize and then we give it to someone else. Okay, so now I have the H3 mouthpiece and I'm gonna give that away too. So let's check this one out. I'm gonna play the exact same excerpt. I should probably read it. Here's the next one. Sorry, the valve's a little bit slow, but that is the H3 mouthpiece. And the H3 mouthpiece goes to Zacharias Ellingson. So you have seven days to submit your information uh, through a YouTube video the exact same way. And uh, let's move on. Okay, so this video is all about the mouthpiece that can really do everything. And you would think there really is no such thing. I searched far and wide for many years to find a mouthpiece that could do everything. That's part of the reason you see so many mouthpieces here. I actually have about 500 proper mouthpieces. And uh, you know, if I weren't a mouthpiece manufacturer that was studying all these things, that would be a very embarrassing number. But I have a good reason to have that many, simply because I am studying all those mouthpieces and helping you guys become better players by finding the right one that fits you. However, years ago, I developed something called the 5mm modular mouthpiece. 
five means five parts, and MM stands for modular mouthpiece. So I created that system, and then last fall, I released a new version, or last winter, called the Spectratone. The Spectratone is a new version of the 5mm modular mouthpiece. It's compatible with it. It's the chameleon of mouthpieces. But the big innovation is that the Spectratone is divided up into tonal colors. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. And those colors will allow you to choose the mouthpiece that's going to work for each type of genre. So for instance, if you wanted to pick red, it's going to be sizzling hot, bright lead trumpet. If you're going to pick, say, green or yellow, then those colors are basically middle-of-the-road mouthpieces that work for almost everything, but they work well with other trumpets and other, other mouthpieces. And then if you get towards violet, it becomes very warm and dark, sometimes cello-like, um, or maybe even flute-like, depending. And we have all the different varieties in between. So the Spectratone is the chameleon of mouthpieces. And what I mean by chameleon is literally this mouthpiece can do whatever you want it to do. So I'm going to show you something that uh, you've probably never seen before. This Spectratone mouthpiece is a Spectratone Blue. It's on Kickstarter right now. And like I said before, it's going to end very soon. So if you want one, you should buy it now. Otherwise, it's going to be $400. If you want to pay $400 later, go for it. But I would just buy it now. Um, I'm pushing it really hard only because I want to make sure you guys get your opportunity to get it at that lower price. Uh, unfortunately, I can't keep that lower price once the Kickstarter ends. So, that is the Spectratone Blue. It's not actually blue, it's made out of red brass. But this mouthpiece is going to become these other mouthpieces in this video and we're going to do it right now. So the first mouthpiece we're going to recreate is that Monet C4S3. So we're going to create this mouthpiece out of the Spectratone. So to recreate the uh, Monet, we're gonna have to measure the throat first. So these, this is a set of precision gauge pins, and we have many sets of these in our shop. I'm going through and finding the gauge pin that fits in the throat of this mouthpiece. So that was a 166, 165, 160, oh, 160. Okay, let's see, 161. Okay, it's a 160. All right, next, let's go find the rim. Here I am on my website. I have clicked on the rim sizes and then mouthpiece components, rim sizes. I click that, it gives me a conversion chart. Okay, so you can see the website, talks about Spectratone. And we've had this on there for many years. Uh, we've scanned the C4, we've scanned all these mouthpieces already. So we know the dimensions and uh, now we can just look up the cross reference. Okay, so the four rim and Monet is going to be, it looks like, 640 so let's grab the 640 rim okay so you can see these are our rims and we actually have quite a few rims so we can pull open several drawers these drawers are full of different sizes and we need a 640 so i'm going to grab a 640 right here there it is and look at that we even have one in gold so now we have the rim we also need the cup okay let's grab that and i already looked it up for us that's going to be a 640 as well okay so that's going to be a 640 gc and we're simply going to screw those two together and let's go grab the throat. All right, so that was a 160 throat. So we're going to go over to our 160 section and actually this is going to be a larger size because the back four is bigger. That's a G16022. It's right here. And then we grab the back four and the back four on this one's very large. So let me grab that. It's going to be a 2237 and that is right here. And now let's put it all together. All right, so here's my original Spectratone mouthpiece. I'm going to remove the rim, the cup, and the throat. It all comes out as kind of like one component. And I'll remove the back bore. And now I'm going to put the other components inside. So I've already put the rim and the cup together. Now I'm just putting the throat in. I'm going to drop that into my body, screw it in. And next, we grab the back bore, screw that in place, and now we can go play it. All right, we're ready to go. Let's test this out. This is the Spectratone now set up as a Monet C4S3. <laughs> If you guys haven't heard this piece, you should check it out. 
This is Shostakovich's Fifth Symphony, one of my favorite to play. That actually feels very similar to the Monet. Let me grab it and play it again. Okay, and it also sounds like the Monet. So there you have it. They're both the exact same rim, cup, throat, and back four. The only difference is the length. So the Spectra Tone is slightly longer, but very close, probably within an eighth of an inch. Let's move on to the next one. The next mouthpiece we're gonna recreate in the Spectra Tone is going to be this Shilky 10A4A. Let's do it. All right, so I need to take all the Monet parts out. I'm gonna set those over here. And they probably won't be used again. These are my original Spectra Tone parts. All right, 145 doesn't fit. It looks like it's a 144. So that's 144 thousandths of an inch. And the backboard, let's measure that. And the backboard is 330, so 33 is the number for that. Let's look up the rim on our website. Okay, so the Shilke 10 is a 570 in the Harrelson system. It looks like it would be a 570 um, W or X. All right, so let's pull that. All right, so we have the 570X, and now we're gonna pull out the throat that matches that, and this one's gonna be a lot smaller. Okay, so we've got the D14521CS. That's gonna be the closest. And then we're going to have the 2133 backboard, which is this one right here. And we have the 570DD cup. So let's put all these together. Normally I would grease this little O-ring, but we don't really need to for today's purposes. So I've got the rim, the cup, the throat. I'm screwing those in. And now we do the back core. Get that all the way in there. Let's go play test it. So now I'm playing the Shilky 10A 4A. It's extremely bright, as I expected. Let's move on to the Spectra Tone equivalent. So there you have it. Now we did the Shoki 10A4A. Let's try the next one. Okay, the next mouthpiece we're gonna recreate is the Vincent Bach uh, three, uh, sorry, 2C Megatone. So let's make this one. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one apart, set that aside. And next we are going to check out the Bach 2C. So once again, let me consult the website. All right, so Bach 2C is going to be a 640W, okay? Or a 640, it says either one is very close. And it looks like the depth is gonna be an F depth. So that's the cup depth. All right, so it looks like the throat is a 147, kind of an odd size. All right, and let's check the back bore. The back bore is going to be a 33. I'll put it together. So let's put all that together and test it. Now, when you buy a Spectra Tone and you want to change sizes, you don't need to know all these numbers. In fact, we make it really simple. All you have to do is say, hey, I want it to be bigger and warmer or brighter and more focused. And we can help you with the throat and the back bore sizes really easily. If you're looking for cup depths, we can help you with that as well. It will be very well laid out in the Kickstarter. When you go to add-ons, you'll be able to choose extra components to make it brighter, darker, or more focused or diffused. And if you have questions, you just call us and we help you. Christine and I help, we've helped thousands and thousands of customers get fit. So let's go play these two mouthpieces. Let's start with the Bach Megatone 2C. And remember, this is on the trumpet I'm about to give away. Oh, by the way, uh, you may have noticed that we're scrolling names of winners. So as you see your name, just remember you need to film that YouTube video and contact us let us know, like email us the video, make it set up private so nobody else can see it, and let us know where we can ship your prize. And if you want a t-shirt, let us know what size you want. That is the 2C, I like that. That actually sounds really orchestral, but still brilliant. Now let's try the equivalent on the Spectra Tone. All the same parts, only in the modular system that is more efficient than the original. Ah, 
I may have, oh, I know what it is. That was a 147 throat and I put in a 150 throat. So it's a little bigger sounding uh, because we, we make our throat sizes in increments of fives. So 145, 150, I chose a 150, I just rounded up. A 145 probably would have sounded closer. I have to say this sounded bigger and more robust. Um, my fault, because I picked the wrong parts. And the last mouthpiece we're gonna recreate in the Spectratone is the Rudy Muck, or someone actually told me it's Mook. I'm not really sure, but I trust other people more than myself because I never met the guy. Um, so maybe it's Mook, but Rudy Muck or Mook cush Cushion Rim 19C. Let's recreate it. So now we're at the Rudy Muck or Rudy Mook 19C. This might be the most challenging of all of them because of its unusual, really thick rim size, unusual cup shape. And let me see if I have this on the website. Let's see. We do have it, 19C. Okay, so that's gonna be a 590X. So let's pull the 590X and it looks like the cup volume is gonna be an E cup. The throat is a 149, so we'll use a 150. And then the back four is a 330 exact. All right, once again, I have all the components. Let's put them together. And then we screw all that into the body and the back four into place. And now let's go compare these two Rudy Muck mouthpieces. We're going to start with the Rudy Muck 19C. Wow, that with a 149 throat, it's actually a really big sounding mouthpiece. Now let's go to the Spectratone equivalent, same rim, cup, slightly larger throat, and the same backboard. Wow, you know, I don't know that I've ever set up that muck and tested it before, but the 19C and this feel very, very comfortable and they feel very much the same. Uh, just the outside looks different, you know? So there you have it. We now made four different mouthpieces with the Spectratone Blue. But let's try the Spectratone Blue just like it was designed. Okay, so let me get the 19C parts out, put those here. You can see we have all the components for all the different mouthpieces right here. A couple of them were actually the same components, so we could have mixed and matched them. But these were four very different mouthpieces that we made with the Spectratone Blue. You could do the same with the Spectratone Yellow. I'm putting the original Spectratone Blue back together, and now let's go hear that. Sorry, I have something in the middle of the music. All right, so that is the Spectratone Blue, the chameleon of all mouthpieces. You haven't heard the end of this one. Remember, it's on Kickstarter right now for nearly half price. And honestly, I would just go get one right now. You're not gonna regret it. I'm gonna guarantee that you're gonna like it. If for some reason the rim that you choose doesn't fit you, you can exchange it through the mail once. If it doesn't fit you again, which it should because we've talked about it by then, then you can come to Denver and choose from all of our rims and find the one that fits you. If you come to Denver, you're gonna have a lot more fun anyhow because you get to tour the shop, see how we build our trumpets and our mouthpieces right here in Denver, Colorado. And uh, if you want, you could even have a lesson with me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And I love giving away all of these great prizes to you guys. Um, remember, leave a comment in this video. So go below, leave a comment, push subscribe and like it. Tell me why you like these videos, what you wanna see in the future. And from the comments today, I will choose more winners. I'm gonna keep doing this until we reach our $50,000 mark.
All right, thank you again, and I truly appreciate all of your support. I'll see you next time.